Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Alfa Romeo Giulia Veloce Q4. We have a 2 liter engine uh, right here uh, with us and I will review it for you guys today. I will show you the interior, exterior. I try to go in every single details. Uh, as always, uh, if you watch my channel, you know that I make car reviews. If you don't know, just subscribe to my channel and you will see the latest car on the market. Also, um, I will try to show you as many possible details. Also, the price and all that stuff will go inside uh, to see the space, to see the quality. And yeah, let's do it, guys. All right, guys, so we will start. I want to start with the key because the key is super, super beautiful. I like very much the design of the key. It looks so premium. Uh, and it feel nice in the hand. It feel good quality. Also, from the key here, if you press two times on the key, you can see that you can open the trunk. And we have an automatic lift gate on the trunk. So the car come with automatic lift gate in the trunk. So you can open the trunk very easily from the key as well. But when you have to close it, you have to do this. Uh, actually manually so you, you have to close it manually but it's very easy to close because um, the lift gate it's super super light it's mega light I don't know I think it's made from aluminium it is very very light but anyway before going forward guys I just want to show you the price and I want to talk a little bit about the price and the information uh, on the car so let's show you here I want to show you here the price so we have here the Alfa Romeo Giulia 2 liter engine uh, this is the Q4 Veloce, so you can see right here. Then we have 280 horsepower. Uh, the car have 1,800 kilograms, 8.7 uh, liter consumption, 198 CO2, and then it's in the F efficiency. Uh, then let me show you here. Uh, we have the interior color. And then here we have a petrol engine, as I told you before, eight, uh, eight gear shifter automatic. Here are all those options, but we will go through together. Uh, here are the price also, if you want to see the prices to the different options, you can read it out. And then here is the final price of this model. Uh, it's not a brand new model. The basis brand new model start at 61,000 francs, around the same in dollars. And this price right here for this car that I will show you is not a new car. It has 500 kilometers. It's a brand new car, but yeah. Anyway, the price is much, much better. You have also this discount. If you come at Auto Gallicar, guys, if you are from Switzerland or around here, you can buy it from them. Great, great price uh, right here. Or you can go to carplanet.ch uh, and then you can find all the cars. Also, the price and I guess that was all the information about the car we will leave this down here and we will go forward with the car and first time I just want to show you another cool stuff on the key guys so let me show you that the car come with keyless entrance of course so you can see right here when you close to the car you just press the button and then the car will be locked and also the car come with um, uh, mirrors, foldable mirrors. So when you go forward, for example, when you go backwards, sorry, and you lock the car, the mirrors should fold in and should fall down. Maybe they need a little bit of time. Not sure about that. Let me try again, just like that. Anyway, not sure about that, but I know the mirrors uh, can fold fold in as well not sure how can you do that maybe it's an option there maybe it's an option there I'm not sure about that or wait a second ah yes the contact was still on that why he doesn't want to lock but right now it should work okay look at that so cool okay so now that you know that we have keyless entrance, also very, very nice handle. I like very much the handle. It feels like good quality. 
also all you have to do is just pr put your hand right here and you can unlock the car very easily now the exterior design guys in my opinion look phenomenal the car looks super super beautiful um, I like very much the lines and every single uh, detail on this car it's just phenomenal the way the rims they designed uh, and not only the rims but also the shape in the front you can see the front shape of the car it's, it's super nice uh, going forward and also even the hood has some beautiful lines it's this Italian style it's phenomenal Italians know how to make cars and you know Ferrari it's made by Italians uh, and it's phenomenal and also uh, Alfa Romeo the same it has beautiful beautiful design and also a lot of great great quality uh, details you will see it when we go inside I was quite impressed with the the quality and details and all that stuff I think um, the car look super super nice uh, I love the shapes I love the color I love those lines that come here uh, all over the, the, the hood it looks super nice also the front grille here in the middle with the air intakes guys you have the Alfa Romeo logo and then you have this air intakes that go to the to the uh, radiator and then cool down the engine uh, 280 horsepower it's a lot now here you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that new safety features great tech on the car as well parking sensors as well guys we have four parking sensors the car come with four parking sensors in the front you can also see it right there on the bumper and yeah I like also very much uh, the Veloce writing here on the side pretty beautiful design the way they, they they write it right there also going here you can see around the edges of the windows we have just normal black rubber around here so nothing fancy no glossy plastic it's just a normal uh, black rubber there uh, also I like very much the antenna it has a nice design so you can see the radio antenna look pretty nice up there also in the back pretty nice design kind of round shape it keep this Alfa Romeo style of round shapes and it's not bad it's quite good and I like it very much um, I know many people still like this round edge these days the cars start to have a lot of uh, sharp edges and lines and stuff and I still like this round shape of the car it's, it looks super super nice the back of the car look beautiful you can see uh, the sedans I think in my opinion they are the most beautiful cars they still stay the most beautiful car even though these days a lot of people buy uh, the tourer the estate version or an SUVs but sedan cars are amazing and they have such a good grip on the on the street I drive the car and the grip on the street it's just phenomenal I mean this car have an amazing grip here you have also uh, the tank you can fuel the car right here on the left side and then in the back here I think you already see the Q4 logo here on the side and then on the other side we have the Julia writing Julia and Alfa Romeo logo in the middle then going forward here we have a reverse camera the car come with the reverse camera and also LED lights to the number plate uh, pretty cool then the car also come in the back with four parking sensors if you look closely on the bumper you will see them there four parking sensors great tech and something that I like very much is the diffuser down there it's phenomenal look at the exhaust pipes and the, the lines on the diffuser look just gorgeous the diffuser look fantastic I love it I like it very much to be honest uh, if you ask me why I chose to review this car I didn't have it in the plan but I like it very much I see it and I said oh I have to show you this car I have, I have to show to everybody this car I like very much the shape I think the shape of the car the design it's, it's just 
one of the most beautiful sedan car and I go inside the car I touch the materials and it's phenomenal I mean uh, we will go there together and I will show you also the interior but the way they design the shapes the lines everything looks fabulous and look at those rims guys just just look at them Firelli tires beautiful design of the rims beautiful 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 and the car come if i'm not wrong with 19 inch rims yes you can see right there 19 inch rims ventilated brake discs uh you can see the alfa romeo logo on the brake helipad uh, they are just just phenomenal i mean they look gorgeous 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 they fit so nice on the car so nice what do you think guys just write me in the comments what do you think about the rims they are so so typical alfa romeo those rims in the front of course the car come with bigger brake discs because you know uh the car the cars break more in the front uh it's just a fact now there on the windscreen up here we have a camera for lane assist also for um, reading the traffic speed limit and all that cool stuff technology now uh, let me show you the lights right now guys all right guys I just turned on the lights and <laughs> I want to show it to you the car come with the latest technology full LED lights in the front sorry about this blink ring the, the camera show you like that because of the refresh rate uh, usually normal the lights are still on all the time so you can see the daylight you can see that even the the turn signal lights are LED light and here is the the high beam low beam also LED light the latest technology from Alfa Romeo you can see also the logo right here on the side they are beautiful the the design is super beautiful i don't know if you can see it so well right now in the daytime but the design it's phenomenal beautiful beautiful design beautiful lights uh, great great technology on the car really a beautiful car oh nice car really Alfa Romeo remember of the past they made such a good cars in the past and and I think they still do great cars but the marketing is not so good I think they have to improve it also LED light on the mirror now here have the, the, the nice round mirror and also blind spot technology right in the corner i think you can see it there uh, pretty nice let's go in the back to show you the tail light and to show you this led light in the back also of course the same as in the front you can see the light the tail light the blinkers the turn signals you can see right here beautiful beautiful also the reverse light and everything it is led light so from this point of view it's phenomenal really really awesome and the back of the car with those exhaust pipes oh man oh man super super nice also uh, let me close the light and then I want to show you the engine bay all right guys so here is the engine we have an automatic lift gate right here in the front to the engine um, this is the 280 horsepower petrol engine here's the air filter pretty big um, yeah also the radiator is super huge and you can have also the Alfa Romeo writing right there super nice also pretty powerful engine All right guys, so let let me show you the trunk now. Let's go inside the car and let's see the rest of the car. So it's very simple to open the trunk. You can also uh, open it from the key or you can press this button and it will open uh, kind of automatic. This is a great, great cool stuff. And then we have here the triangle, some nice stuff material. Uh, also the entrance in the trunk, it's quite big. So you can, you can stick 
big items there without any problem we have some plastic here at the entrance uh, then some storage space on the left right uh, on the left side there on the right side you have also this storage space where where if you look closely you have all the battery there inside so yeah the battery is right here on the right side in the trunk then the trunk it's quite quite big you can see it's super super big really deep uh, inside there then uh, I know you're wondering what it's under the floor under the floor here you have a space for the repair kit but other than that you can go more than this because here is the tank uh, and also all that electric stuff so this is the trunk uh, also if you want to fold down the seats guys you have the option to do it from here pretty easy also in the trunk you have a normal bulb light right here and another one here on the right side so it's enough light in the night also if you press this just like that press it and then you stretch out here because it's very very long you can push it down uh, from here just like that uh, but here in the middle guys just keep in mind that you have the option to fold down only the middle seat that's cool for for skis or long items you you are able to carry long items without any problem but once you're folding down all the seats you can see that you have a flat floor there a lot of space you can carry long items without any problem so great job again something that i like it um, pretty pretty huge space there in the trunk and also the, the the entrance in the trunk it's quite big so just take this into consideration now let's go inside here guys wow the 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 entrance in the car it's quite huge a big entrance so you can go inside without any problem and once you're here inside you can you can make an idea about the space right here in the car plenty of space the seats are going down flat uh, and also the quality here it's super good great great quality and yeah what can I say still some space there to the legs also you can check it out you have a bump a big bump in the middle but other than that plenty of space there on the side so the entrance it's quite good the entrance in the car it's big uh, plenty of space to carry a lot of stuff there in the trunk You can make an idea yourself Anyway, let's go forward closing the trunk. It's super easy because I don't know I think this trunk is made by aluminium because it's super 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 light They try to put it lighter because they want to make the car much more uh, efficient uh, and agile and sporty and stuff like that anyway let's fold back the seat it's super easy to fold it back you just press it back like that you need only one hand you need just a few seconds and once you're doing that you will see that in the middle you have a cup holders with two two cup holders and the armrest with leather great great fantastic quality and when you want to fold down the middle part you all you have to do is just pr push this up fold it down now you can carry long items without any problem uh, right here in the same time you still have two passengers so that's that's great going forward to the doors we have a very long door it's very similar with uh, BMW 3 series for example here is the fixed window and this one you can fold it down all the way down you can fold this window so that's great uh, then going forward guys this is this Alfa Romeo Giulia Veloce Q4 it's a premium car so it will compete with the the Mercedes uh, for example the C-Class with BMW 3 Series and all that premium cars Volvo for example uh, V19 because of that look at this look at the the doors you have here leather this great great quality leather it's fantastic quality all over the doors here soft material here again leather here leather with, with stitches only down here you have some plastic you have also storage space a small one you have the speaker great 
and you have another speaker here and you have this beautiful trim I never see it in other cars this is for the first time when I see it but I like it very much I don't know if you can make if you see it so well on the video but the quality it's phenomenal very good a lot of soft material a lot of good quality on the doors entrance in the car as well great quality because even here you don't have a plastic here you have this leather great quality leather here you have the side support look how nice they design it here for for a better comfort and the comfort on those seats i tell you it's one of some of the best seats out there i tell you behind the front door uh, front seats we have some plastic here, some storage space, um, yeah, other than that, let's go in the middle, we have these classic Alfa Romeo vents, I love them, I mean, the quality, it's awesome, they feel so good as you touch it, it's, it's super nice, they are nice, the design is nice, I like that they keep it like that, two USB port, heated seats on the back, uh, back seats had seat heat heat on them so it's pretty awesome even for the winter in the back here premium 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 now look at those seats we have leather seats and this leather is not that cheap shitty leather this is this is really good quality leather and it feels fantastic you can see the stitches you can see the design is different it's it's something else and even down here if you touch it the quality is there i mean they last they last forever those seats they they feel like they last forever with this this high quality leather amazing seats nice design uh even down here we have isofix for kids on the other side as well i want to go inside the car ah uh, whoo it feels so nice feels so nice inside okay look at the first time this is my driving position I can put it a little bit in the front but I leave it so in the relaxed position and this is also in the normal position there I check it out before I go here inside so look at look at how much space I have on my knees even here huge space stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat just a little bit and the space it's quite good enough space there on my head as well plenty of space for five fingers awesome the space is great i even have here handle hook great quality on the roof really good quality um up here you have some led light so you can see it led lights great quality also whew, i want to talk a little bit about those seats the seats are phenomenal i mean i sit so well here the visibility it's great 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 visibility perfect visibility I mean, I'm, I'm great here, and also the, the headrest and everything. The position here, I can drive like a million miles in this car. It's really premium. That's I like. Something that I don't like, it's this big bump here in the middle. But yeah, what can you expect? Um, I would have the same headspace in the middle, four fingers, exactly four fingers. Stretch my hand, mm, not bad stretch my hand not bad at all free people no problem even for long trips because of this amazing seats you can see right here the design leather everywhere everywhere leather here leather here leather here leather here leather here everywhere amazing amazing you can stay even so on the side you can even sleep here because the leather is everywhere great quality great job alfa romeo huge space on my knees even here amazing space i love that only here in the middle it's a big bump but other than that the space it's it's gorgeous we will go in the front right now and i want to show you who the phenomenal steering wheel and look where is the the start stop engine button it's right there on the steering wheel who it's fantastic i wish i have this a button right there as well the way they design the dashboard the the cockpit is looking great uh, also the multimedia system well integrated center console everything it's perfect 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 uh, i love the way they do it we will go in the front and we will talk uh, there now going in the front the handle you already see it uh, ah by the way guys i like the way the doors are closing you can hear the quality 
premium quality it's there great sound great quality on the doors big windows in the front great visibility also we have leather right here soft material all over all over the door only down here we have some plastic where is the storage space here and the speaker but other than that soft material everywhere you can see the stitches great great quality leather even down even here and even here soft material even this nice nice trim i love it the handle it's fantastic quality quality it's awesome lock unlock here we have the electric buttons electric adjustable mirrors of course and folding as well then going at the entrance we have some alfa romeo right here writing with chrome design then look at the pedals aluminium pedals awesome pedals you have a button here to open the trunk if you want to from here and here you can open the the front part of the engine now here you have some storage space guys kind of big one you can put your phone right there for example and up here you have the uh, the buttons for the parking sensors and also the lights and the fog lamps and all that stuff pretty cool simple right here close to the to your hand the vents of course fantastic quality you can hear it for yourself so you can hear nothing the quality it's awesome I love the quality I mean it's, it's it's gorgeous and also the design is very nice it's typical Alfa Romeo it's, it's beautiful no wonder why Mercedes start to do this kind of um, this kind of vents now the seats are as I told you you can adjust it the seats as I told you electric adjustable seats you can save the position also electric adjustable for the for the passenger the seats are one of the best I ever sit on they are super comfortable the leather it's it's fantastic quality one of the best leather out there um, that I tested side support are amazing so you can drive this car fantastic uh, sporty driving on this car the feeling it's it's gorgeous i tell you also you have the alfa romeo logo right there on the headrest <laughs> look beautiful really look beautiful even the center console is beautiful the the steering wheel and the design of the dash just just phenomenal really let me go inside it's so hot today close the door hear it again nice quality i love the way it hears and everything feels so good quality to be honest uh let me start up here on the roof where you have a mirror with light there and you have the microphone you have a handle great quality as i told you uh up here you have some led lights of course you can see it i think led lights sos button and yeah the microphones are up here another cool stuff is the mirror look the visibility in the back it's gorgeous gorgeous visibility ah by the way visibility around the windows it's perfect even there great great visibility not bad i mean yeah what can you expect no blind spot in the back even though the car have um a reverse camera so armrest here amazing quality you can also open it up like that and here you have alfa romeo cup holder you have for example some space here where you can charge your phone you have two usb usb c usb b 12 volt port awesome place here really practical place then you have this beautiful trim here guys i love this trim look at this closer then going a little bit forward you have this amazing controller for the multimedia system right here while you're driving it's awesome and it's simple to to control it from here so i like it very much then you have the driving modes right here i will show you in a moment and here you have the volume and stuff for the music you can change the music super awesome quality i love it uh electronic handbrake of course the stick to change the gear shifter also leather look at the quality gorgeous quality have stitches on it some space two cup holders here nice trim level there 
in the front you have plenty of space here to put your stuff then you have another usb port another 12 volt port Whew, awesome and look look how cool you all you start up the engine you just have to press this button right here Poof, and the contact it's on the start stop button is right here on the steering wheel i wish uh more cars will do that start stop button right there so yeah now you can see also the lights only when you start the engine you can see the light uh by the way if you go in reverse just like that but wait a second i have to start the engine so you can also hear the engine here and if you go to reverse you can see the reverse camera i just want to show you the reverse camera uh it's quite good it's a little bit smaller screen there but it's quite good it's quite useful i think you can do your job with it without any problem uh it's quite awesome park just press the park you're in park electronic handbrake it's on climatic system guys you can see it right here pretty simple to to use it you have heated seat in the front seat uh, pretty simple to adjust the climatic system also you can see it on the screen there um, also you have auto mode and stuff like that the quality it's quite good here you have rubber and it feel awesome the quality it's awesome the vents here are super cool also in the middle right here even here they are awesome uh, button and also here lock and unlock close and open of course soft material all over the dash uh, if you're wondering you have this soft nice material all over fantastic quality even the design you can see the driving uh, position it's fantastic you have an awesome uh, visibility there also even down here you have soft material look at this here it's soft guys soft material here it's this nice trim beautiful trim um i love it very much i like it very much now going down here guys the glow box it's quite quite big it's big enough you have the books and stuff like that um pretty nice and then another vent there i think you already see it and other than that let me go forward to my favorite part my favorite part on this car is this steering wheel it's gorgeous i mean it's oh i want to take it home i want to put it on my car it's gorgeous look at the trim look at the the grip leather fantastic quality um and also the start engine button it's here um the buttons that you can control different function adaptive cruise control and all that stuff are here then on the other side you have the volume for the music and stuff and it's it's just phenomenal also look at the pedals you can hear it it's no plastic it's metal my friends stainless steel amazing the pedals are here they are just oh phenomenal you can change the gears manually if you want gorgeous i never i will never think that i will say this but this cockpit it's really nice i never thought that i would like an old cockpit but this one here oh my friend it's it's beautiful beautiful cockpit it's it's super nice i love the way you see the speed speedometer turometer and everything right there in the middle it's just perfect the way it should be it's right there uh you can change and you can see different functions for example in the middle uh the lane assist you can control those stuffs right there uh super easy so um yeah what can i say i like it and i like that the car can read also the traffic speed limit and yeah it's, it's just just very nice uh, i like it very much now going forward the multimedia system as i told you you can control it from here super nice and easy and it's very very similar with um what you see on the bmw i like the way they integrate it there on the screen the the, the navigation system it's awesome you can use it also as a touch screen and you can see you don't have any lag at all it's working super fast it has a very fast processor behind it you have also 3d um, map then you can go to home 
uh, you can scroll here with your finger you can see the driving assistance here you can activate deactivate it go to home you can go to climatic system and control it from here um, then but yeah let me let me let me move the car just just a little bit because the sun stay directly in my on my screen wait a second wait a second okay right now the sun stay directly on my screen and i just want to let me park the car right here in the shadow let me put the car right here in the shadow just 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 like that press that okay perfect okay now guys also let me close the ac all right also by the way you have the heated steering wheel i forget to show you right here you can see the button you have also heated steering wheel so it's it's, it's fantastic this steering wheel uh now i think you can see better um check this out the climatic system turn on off you can see here the torque and all the information of driving it's fantastic how, how much how many options you have here all wheel drive efficient drive uh, you can see the consumption here for example and how was your driving style until now the torque the boost and who you have also here where you have to make the service the oil um, and all that oil stand and all the book so you have so many things here to see and i love the the, the, the multimedia system it's super nice i think it's one of the the best multimedia system out there and it's working so fast you see every time i press push my finger there it's working instantaneous so i like it i like it very much to be honest i like what i see here is the radio and here are all those options also you can customize the way you want it here you see all the information the torque wow super nice i love it really i like it very much go to home and then where is the navigation right here navigation boom and if we go to the navigation here for example guys and you put here for example oh, put here burn for example go to burn let's see how much time it's loading usually it should take a small time to load up so let's see searching for it i like very much the, the the cockpit look at the cockpit it's kind of a three dimensional it's not just normal it's, it's looking nice all right just get me there and it's loading and then navigation started oh cool so you have it there you have the navigation pretty nice pretty pretty nice i like very much and also i like this italy flag right here down look nice um they are really patriots the people from italy so yeah that's that's pretty nice good guys stop the engine great all right guys i guess that was the review with the uh, new alfa romeo julia um I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of this kind of video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out also my other videos. Uh, if you have question about the car, I forget something, please ask me. I will answer with pleasure. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, as a short resume about the car, I love the seats. The seats are one of the best. I like the pedals. I like the feeling of driving. I drive the car and it stays so good on the road. It's phenomenal steering wheel visibility uh, a lot of technology great price for what this car car can offer and what can i say i think we we have to put this car in the premium class and who oh, it's a great great option for a sedan car in 2020 and also a lot of power 280 horsepower it's oh, a lot more than enough uh, for the daily driving so guys i hope you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos 
Also, thank you for watching. Like, share, and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.